Howdy. Come over here. I've got something to ask you. I really owe you for your help the other day. And knowing what you can do, I'm hoping you'll help me again. You see, I've been going to the Nanzenji Temple as part of my hundred pilgrimages. But of late, thugs have taken to squatting there. Needless to say, this causes problems not only for me. They harass everyone on the premises, both worshippers and caretakers alike. Will you help me drive the thugs out of the temple? I simply must finish my hundred pilgrimages, no matter what. Oh, you're not familiar. It's said that if you worship at a temple or shrine a hundred times, your wish will come true. It's a fine thing to show one's faith and reflect upon oneself, of course. But the specific number and rich reward are what appeal to me the most. Thank you. Now then. Let's strike while the iron is hot, and get to it at once. Ain't it a beaut? They say that even the master thief Goemon was struck dumb by the view from above. There they are.
I'll go pray then. Hey, you're welcome to join me, you know. Thanks to you, I can continue my hundred pilgrimages. I'm truly grateful. Oh, didn't I mention it? My wife is Japanese, you see. And she's carrying our child. Wanting to be a good husband, I asked her if there was anything I could do for the two of them, and she told me about the Hundred Pilgrimages. By the way, what was it that you prayed for at the temple? If you don't mind my asking, that is. But I've only just told you about my wife. You're pulling my leg. <laughs> Uh, still, I appreciate the sentiment. You have a good heart. Well, it's past time I was on my way. I really can't thank you enough for everything. So long now, and take care. It's time for you to die. <laughs> Pick it. for your assistance. Please accept this small token of my thanks.
able to keep casualties to a minimum. Please, accept this. It's all I have. Well, well. Fancy seeing you here. I've just heard a fascinating rumor. Care to know more? It would appear that I've heard just about every rumor there is in Edo. <laughs> so I thought I'd make a trip to Kyoto, a city that's living on the edge. I had a feeling I might run into you again, and here you are, in Kyoto, no less. Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> in any case, I've got some juicy information, so hear me out. Some thugs have apparently set up camp around Shinsengen, and their leader is said to carry a rather eerie sword, but get this. I'm told that the sword is in fact the cursed katana, Muramasa. To confirm the truth of this rumor, I'll need to see the sword for myself. What do you say? Will you take down the tax leader and bring me the sword? You've never heard of it? The Muramasa is rumored to be a cursed katana that has long brought misfortune on the Tokugawa clan. Wonderful! <laughs> Word is, the Shogun himself is looking for the Muramasa, so we'll have to act fast if we want to get our hands on it.
それから怪しいぞ So, you are the dubious lot who v e been looking for the Muramasa. You're quite the arrogant Ronin. The man's got ears and eyes everywhere. He must have been tracking us. Say, is that strange looking sword the Muramasa? Yes. It is a strange blade indeed. We'll be taking the Muramasa. Hand it over! How dare you rebel against the Shogun! Guards! Arrest these men! Case, you're really something. <laughs> If you have any more fun errands to run, be sure to count me in. Oh, what brings you here? No matter. Lord Katamori here was just telling me what needs to be done next. Stay where you are. Kyoto is in quite a state. I'm sure I need not tell you. The city is still licking its wounds, and the people suffer amidst widespread chaos. I want the Shinsengumi to begin patrolling the city. You must keep the peace. And assuage the people's fears. Understood? Yes, sir. The Shinsengumi will prove, beyond a doubt, that the Shogunate's authority is alive and well in Kyoto. Good. You know, your skill could come in useful. Let's say you help with our patrols. The Shinsengumi is short on members at the moment. Your help would make all the difference. 
Then let's start our patrols early tomorrow morning. This is where we prove the Shinsengumi's true worth. We must live up to the task at all costs. to split into several teams and patrol the city. You'll come with me. Let's move out! Lord Katamori has high hopes for the Shinsengumi. Failure is not an option. Be on the lookout for lawless men. I hear that Si Ringonin are going around swindling the people of Kyoto and causing all sorts of trouble. When public order is disturbed, public minds soon follow. Just wait! Stop that! You don't have to be so cruel! Our mission is to keep the peace. Such a man not only understand the like that, I feel ready to take on anything. Let all remain vigilant to the last. Damn it. Kondo and Hijikata! Let's get out of here! Hold, Hiran! Identify yourselves! <laughs> <laughs> They don't seem like your ordinary thoughts. Heisuke and I will look into this. Okay by you, Kondo? Please do. Meanwhile, we'll head back to Mibo and report to Lord Katamori. This way. Captain, we need reinforcements. We've got sumo wrestlers going on a rampage over there. Wrestlers, huh? Well, what can you do? Let's go. Just ahead. Squeaks one of my two. Enough patrolling for one day. I'll go report to Lord Katamori. Ah, Kondo, welcome back. How was the first day of patrols? Ah, we rounded up some Ronin up to no good, <laughs> as well as some rowdy, drunken sumo wrestlers. 
Hmm. Sounds like you're already seeing results. I expect no less from the mighty Shinsengumi. There is one thing I found concerning. A gang that fled the moment they saw us. They saw our faces and knew who we were. I wonder if they could be Serizawa's people. Serizawa? I've heard nasty rumors about that one. You might very well be right. Kamo Serizawa, a powerful member of the Shinsengumi. He reads the Ronin of Mito and acts independently of us. He's always been prone to misconduct. It wouldn't be a surprise if he was up to no good. Kondo and I aren't particularly well known. So if they knew who we were, that narrows down the list of their potential identities considerably. Hmm. Serizawa is a member of the Shinsengumi. We'll need solid proof if we're to question him. All right. I'm leaving this to you, Kondo. You are the Shinsengumi's captain, after all. Its reputation is in your hands. Yes, sir. Something wrong? Fine by me. As it should be. A samurai sword is no ornament or plaything. How else would we fulfill our duty? There is no point to a sword that is all style and no substance. A master bladesmith will ensure that one sword slices effortlessly. If you want a good sword, pay attention to its edge. I'm a fan of the Juzu style myself. Things are damn sharp, but <laughs> you'll be lucky to find one. Both of them practice the Tenen Rishin Ryu of swordsmanship. You might call them my students, but... That's not how I'd describe our relationship. We've trained under the same roof, shared our hopes and dreams. They are my comrades, my family, my truest of friends. Soji, in particular, lost his parents as a young boy. He's lived in the dojo ever since. He is family and all but name. Toshi wasn't born. <laughs> into a samurai family. But he worked his way up to the part. <laughs> Just like I did. Y 
You've got passable taste. Ah, I see. By your leave. Do you have some business with me? And what might that be? No, not really. After all, I only belonged to the Tenen Nishin School a short time before Kondo inherited it. But the bond between two people cannot be measured by time alone. Indeed, war of what I am now. I owe to Kondo. Had I not met that man, I'd probably be back in my hometown, wasting my life away, peddling worthless goods. Very nice. All right, then. That is all. So you came. What did you want to say? Yes? What is it? <laughs> I like to play games with the children in town. Blindfolded tag and hide and seek are my favorites. I was entered into the Tennen Nishinryu Dojo at the age of nine. So I never got to play those games much growing up. If I ever should marry, I would like to have many, many children. I could happily spend my days playing with them. Oh, this is nice. Understood. Have you got something to say to me? Then I shall try my best to answer you. Sure I do. They trust me. And why shouldn't they? I'm strong, and I look out for our younger officers. Well, I'm sure the same can be said of Hijikata as well. But everyone is scared of that man. Wonder why? Maybe it's his face? Hijikata is a fine man, but he's not exactly charming. I, on the other hand, <laughs> am different, as you can tell. <laughs> You have a good eye for these things. I see. Later then.
Well? What's the matter? Fine by me. Shoot! We met way back when I was traveling around the country looking to improve my skills. <laughs> How many years ago was that again? <laughs> ah, sorry, I forget. Anyway, when I left Tosa and was looking for somewhere to stay, he was the first person who came to mind. And during my time in Choshu, we spent every day discussing various social problems and honing our skills. <laughs> A fine man, that Kusaka. You know me well! Huh? All right, then. Well, sure I'll be seeing you soon enough. It's you. Do I look like I have the time for chit-chat? Hurry it up. Me. Well, get to the point then. You've done well. Hmm. Suits me. If you need to go, then go. Over here. What can I do for you? What do you want? Sure, I'm game. What's on your mind? The Yokohama Kihetai was something of an experiment, to be frank. I'm thinking I will build a new militia back home. As always, any person with aspiration is welcome no matter their social status. But this time, they will be trained and equipped for Western-style warfare. The age of samurai won't last forever, and new Kihetai would go a long way toward ending it. You know your stuff. Really? All right, fine by me. Till the next time. You look well. What's going on with you today? Oh, go on then. Obviously, we had a hard time putting food on the table. And my little sister nearly ended up in the pressure districts. I realized what was happening and when I wish I could...
I shouldn't have underestimated you. Huh? Oh, all right, then. See you. I'm listening. Ask away. Because we carry on the age-old tradition of the Shimazu demon. But you know, Satsuma is known for other arts too, like no theater. There was once talk of dismantling the no stage at the Satsuma villa in Edo. But one word from Lady Atsuko put that matter to rest. It's true, the present age is not much suited to no and kabuki, but I pray we will all be able to enjoy such things again someday. You're the best! Hmm... I see. Our business is now done. How do you do? What is it this time? All right. Out with it. How splendid. I see. That concludes business. Over here. I'm listening. What's that? How wonderful. Very well, then. Till next time.
Oh, hello there. If you've something to say, I'll hear you out. And what might that be? Indeed, I was. My family made indigo dyes. We purchased the necessary leaves and sell the finished products to customers in the Shinshu and Joshu regions. Even as a child, I used to accompany my father on business outings. Perhaps that's what sharpened my eye for profit. You know, the most important thing in business is negotiation. It is a sort of battle, one might say. <laughs> I find it rather fascinating. More medicine, a strong army, and... Well, there's no single answer, is there? But if this country ever wants to catch up to the West, it'll need to work. Hard. Only before it can start anything, it is going to need money. And as things stand, the government lacks the capital needed for development. Tackling this problem will demand the know-how of skilled finance officers like myself. It's not going to be easy, but that's what makes it so rewarding. How kind of you! Understood. Oh, you're doing well, I trust. Stay well. It's you. What is it? Oh, really? A strong will is essential for winning any conflict. Of course, there are many who think only of crafting deadly weapons. But let's say you had two evenly matched armies. Who do you think would win? Obviously, the side which refused to crack under pressure. Fortunately for Japan, its samurai are made of strong stuff. And so they are perfect for me to mold. I dabble in drawing. Indeed, there are few hobbies I devote more attention to. I draw still lives, mountain landscapes, you name it. From the act of finding a subject to the sound of my pencil against the paper, there's no way to describe the pleasure it gives me. Which reminds me, the Japanese are not yet used to the pencil, are they? I will lend you one sometime. Perhaps you could try drawing something with it. Allow me to thank you. I see. Very well, then. Perhaps we'll meet again soon. <laughs>